We're already into 2023 and looking forward to another great year of bourbon, but had a lot of good stuff last year. We're going to bring you our top 10 next. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to 1090. I am Andy. This is Todd, and we're coming at you tonight with our list of our oh. top 10 bourbons of 2022. Should be a good time. I think some so. good stuff. I think so. You know, we've done our rise already. Yep. We did our, our finished whiskeys. On our live stream, we had our top 10 overall whiskeys, but now we're going down to the bourbons. You know, yeah. I think actually 22 is better for the rise than we're for well, yep. we'll find out. I think we got a pretty good list here tonight, I think so, so we'll we'll go over them. Yep. Uh, we'll let you guys banter back and forth. But of course, if you like all things beer, bourbon, and rock and roll, got a little list coming out of that too very soon. Please hit that subscribe button and click the bell in the corner to let you know every time we got a new video coming That's out. Right. We would love to have you come along for the ride and top off the all the Patreon stuff. Come on, too. Patreon below. Come mm -hmm. join us. Really cool. Got barrel picks coming. So absolutely. Check that out. But in the meantime, let's get this party started Let's with number ten. This is a bottle that we got and put up very early and we're really surprised about it. I didn't know much about it. The rare character put it out. It's Fortuna, you know, their first offering, 102 proof. Really enjoyed this for what it was. Yeah, it took a shot. This is resurrecting an old yeah. label um, that's been around for quite some time. It is MGP juice, but fantastic. Six year whiskey. I didn't uh, hear a lot of pub on it, but we really enjoyed it. We really, we really thought it was a really great, uh, was great. A lot of apple notes yeah. on there, heavy on the rye spice, uh, really, really solid sipper, and uh, easily was uh, in consideration all year and just yeah. did crack our top 10. So, Fortuna Whiskey still out there and available. Go yeah. grab it to see it. All right, coming in at number nine, you know, this grabbed my attention with the Wrigley Field looking you kind of logo on this. I thought it was a really cool, cool bottle, but also a great value, we've come to find out. I mean, tell us about Cooper's Crack. Yeah, well, Top Shelf Todd, you know, $30 bottle, but packed full of flavor, unapproved, bottle and bottle. You know, it's just an absolutely, I think, underrated with bourbon. That's really, really good. For us, we tried for the first time in 22, and I can tell you, it's, I'm seeing it more and more in Maryland, and it's always on if my If you're looking now. for something it's beautiful. that's an everyday sipper, but quality that people are like, share with your friends, bring yes. to a tailgate, whatever, this is it. It's it. Uh, and yeah, like I said, it's a really cool label. I love this bottle. Really cool. So our number nine. All right, number eight, we know you're a fan of Maker's Mark, especially uh, the P90X. Yeah. Uh, but uh, another year where the wood finishing series it ended hits. up being a hitter, and, and one of the two, especially for us, Todd. I love them it? both. Uh, BR, BRT02, for, for us, just edged out 01. Really love that dark chocolate, that sort of the, the dark fruits that are involved in here. Just amazing how those staves, and actually sort of mimicking where they are on the brick houses, leveled high or low. Yeah. I, I love what they do with this wood fishing series. This is another I, expression. I look forward to it every year. Yeah, and, and hit her again. Honestly, they, they rarely ever this disappoint. But well, we'll see what happens in 2023. But, I mean, but this was this was definitely a win. TRTO2, definitely. All right, Andy, number seven is kind of late entry. You got this bottle uh, probably beginning of December. Beginning of December, you said, Todd, you got to try this. Right? It's just cool. And I was like, oh, I'll try it. He brought it over for a live stream one time. And holy cow, holy peanut butter. <laughs> smoothness it was it was awesome yeah I you know I'm a big fan of Luxro and I'm a big fan of the Rebel but their their cast strength especially their, their picks this, this is, is from Bourbon Lens yeah. have been really really worth seeking out this was no different 120 proof and we were probably about 90% done with their list already yeah and I said man I this is this has got to be believe in it, it, it did, and it actually it bumps them down it was that really good. really good it's like Peanut butter, like not not, not nutty, but peanut right. butter. Right, we, we said it was like yeah. like the creamy gifs, right? Creamy right? gifs that but, just had that uh, creaminess, that pe peanut butter, but with those sweetness. But really rich and full body, Beautiful. which I absolutely love. Oily, viscous, yes. winner. This is fantastic. Rebel cast strength, big fan. Really, really good. All, All right. right, on to number six. All right, coming in at number six, your first love in bourbon was oh. larceny. Yes. Then you fell in love with barrel proofs, yeah. and you started loving larceny barrel well, proof. Well, listen. Yeah. So we, we knew that at some point, one of the three would make our list, and this one was the one that did it for you. Well, A122 was a huge bomb of a flavor. For, it was like a spice bomb. I mean, it was not like a weeded bourbon, right? B522 was also amazing, but the one that hit it for me was C922. They got better and as I, I they went on. That. 
And this, I'm telling you, was better than anything I think Elijah Craig put out in Barrel Proof this year. I would agree that. The C922 was amazing. I think it's more flavorful, I think it's more accessible, and yeah. I think it's, it's, it's becoming, in our opinion, I think, uh, something we seek after more yes. than I wish the it came ECB. out early, yeah, around, around here. We yeah. get it really late here, so thankfully one of our patrons got this to us pretty early. Absolutely yeah, loved it. That's a winner. Yeah. Awesome. Really, really good. Shall we do our top five? Let's do it. All right, so we are at our number five, and if you know us at all, you know we are big fans of the Maryland Herring series Absolutely. with all the rides that came out. This is part of that again, Justin and George. They put out a bourbon though this time, the Laurel Andy. Why did this fall in our top five? Well, first of all, it's a 16 year old bourbon. There you go. So we, and we had to have one unicorn in the group, right? So that's it. Uh, this, this was the one. We were lucky enough to try this and get our hands on a bottle. It's, it's fantastic. It's First couple sips were good. As this thing opened up, it Even became then, that's just it. Yep. amazing. Um, not overly oaky. Uh, but you do get the oak presence yeah. there, which I yeah. really like. The, the, the woody notes, the cinnamon yep. notes, yep. a little bit of that burnt sugar going yep. on here. And very limited because they did not have that many barrels. They did a heck of a good job with this. Great. So, great way to move into our next four to close out our top ten. But yeah, Laurel is a smash. It's All good. All right, top four is here. And again, you know, you've seen this in our rise. We're big fans of what Lost Lantern is doing. Andy, you got this one again. You said you've got to try it. I was skeptical. It wasn't after I tried it. Andy, this is from the Starlight Distillery, which we love. This is the Lost Lantern. I mean, just an absolutely single cast, just glorious bourbon. So, truth be told, 2023 could possibly be our top 10. It's just nothing but Lost Lantern. Yeah. I, 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 at least for me. For you, definitely. I, I like I'm, it too. I'm falling in love with the things that they're doing wood. more and more every day. But everything they've picked that I've had, because they're extremely selective in what they go after. Yeah. And they will turn distillers down all the time. Uh, has been in this bottle. a hitter. And this thing, man, it's a banger, buddy. I love this thing. Absolutely wonderful. proof. It's It's got all the classic bourbon Jeez. notes just done right. Yeah, it's it's oily, viscous. It, oh, it's Honey just. Honey of a barrel. Yeah. And they, they say we're leaving with the best. They got the best. This is just absolutely so Starlight phenomenal. juice. And look, this Lost is probably still out there, but go on, I would, if you don't know who Lost Land is, go on their website and go check it out. They've got a lot of offers. Mm -hmm. All of them are really, really good. Get this one. But this and the ride that made our top 10, too. From, yes. Uh, Spirit was fantastic yep. as well. All right, so top three. Now. All right, so our top three, Andy, I got a little story about this one. Just let me say this out. You brought some of these bottles over. I'd never tried three chord. You said you have to try it. I think it's going to be one of our top 10 uh, bourbons. And I said, well, I don't know. So I was sitting here watching Raven Games. I said, oh, wait, three chords back there. Poured a little bit of out. Holy crap, poured a little bit more out. Called Andy. He's like, stop drinking my whiskey. <laughs> All right, enough. Yeah, three chord, huge toffee, Werther's Original. It's just a, a super viscous, caramel butterscotch bottle. Well, yeah. beer, bourbon. Really, yes. really good. Three chord. How are we sleeping on this? So, well, you know, I hadn't tried anything from three chord before. And then when great. I saw the 12 year or 12, 12 bar barrel yes. preserve. Yes. Yeah. This is the 12 year, though. Which is aged 12 years. Yes. I was like, you know, we got we to gotta grab that. And 107 so, proof. Hey, we're beer, bourbon, and rock and roll, so I need something yeah, rock and roll. Yeah, and they're all about music. This thing rocks. It is fantastic. amazing. If you can see it, find it, grab it. I want a bottle. Well, it's not going to be that one. But we got <laughs> two, two more left. <laughs> all right. All right, Eddie, the number two whiskey. I'm surprised this is number two, because I thought it was going to be number one for a while. Um, it is the not I mean, just an absolute... Amazing, amazing whiskey. Not, not just in how good this was, 18. but how disappointed we really were in the 15. Correct. We loved the 12. The 15 didn't do it for yes. us. So when we heard the 18 was coming up, we're like, okay, we were what are we paying for it? We're worried about that. Yeah. What are we going to pay for it? Is it going to be worth it? We got it for 170. Uh, yeah, we got it. Luckily, right. we got this from right around MSRP. MSRP. And it's under $10 a year. Was blown away by how much I loved it. But not over oak. You know what? Let's be honest, for the most part, Knob Creek is consistently yes. really good in their offerings. Uh, so I guess that disappointment was more of an anomaly, I think, than, than, just, than in the 15. But the 18 came back. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Just amazing. So, uh, yeah, it had to be a special bottle to knock mm -hmm. this off the tab. And I think we have one. Oh, I need it. All right, Andy, the number one is, it had to be special. And this is a, a bourbon that has a great story behind it. 
It's, a, it's a, probably a, a bourbon that a lot of people have had in, in cash drink, but this is a special pick. Yeah. Tell us the story. My first time ever out in Texas was in Austin. I, the, the stars must have aligned because I had Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. I had a little bit of extra time. <laughs> I'm so glad you went. To get to still Austin. And it's a tiny place, but it was really cool. And they happened to say when we were there, hey, you know what? We just dropped this today. Oh. It's the third ever barrel pick. We try and do one once a month. Distillery only release. But from Nancy Fraley. Oh, just I said, Nancy great, Fraley. let me have a little little sip of that. They said, hey, caveat is, you don't get to try it, you gotta yeah. buy it, that's the deal. So you like, take okay, it, I take said, the money. Well, oh, here you go. And now my only regret is that I didn't buy two. I know. Or three. Because now we don't want to drink it. this just knocked my socks off. I was like, oh my God, Todd, you have to try this. I'm actually ticked off that this is all that's left of it because <laughs> we'll so I love the, <laughs> the, the cash strength from Still Austin, just normal. You can get out there for 49 bucks. We can yeah. at least here and here. Is an absolute amazing value pour. And that's a two year old whiskey. And it's a two year old whiskey. This, this is, this is that four years old, flavor which is just profile fantastic. Explode. Yeah. It's like times 10. Yep. And when you do that, it's a special. So special this is product. over four years old. Um, the extra age does well on it. It is just, it's, it's, it's like you said, it's, it's very viscous and oily. Uh, it hits all the right notes. The palate yep. matches the flavor profile. Uh, I mean, the nose. It's just everything about this thing has made us drink way too much of it. Yeah, and it be easily became our number one. I mean, there's, I think, some, there's some hitters up here, but yeah. we knew this was going to yeah. end up landing there. And I think you need to make a trip back to us. I won't get this one, but I can't wait to see what other <laughs> yeah, ones are right. out there because they're really good. And so next time you fool me and say, hey, you got to buy it before you try it out. If it's anything like this, no problem. Well, there's our top 10 bourbons of 2022. What do you guys think? What do you agree, disagree? What do we miss? This is what we tried, right? We don't try everything, but this is what we tried. These were the ones that rose to the top. Absolutely. And so we'll banter back and forth with you because we love to do that. Yep. But you know, all in all, I think this is a great year for whiskey. I enjoyed the rise. Enjoyed you Definitely. finished. Um, a lot of the single malts were great. Yep. But this was a solid year for bourbon again. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what 2023 has to offer. Andy, but, I think we should have one pour before we go here. What are you uh, going to go with? You know, I'm going to go with, I'm saving that. That's still awesome. I'm going to have the Rebel. Oh, are you? Yeah, you want the Rebel or you want something else? I'm going to the Lorley. You know, let's do it right. Mar let's stay in Maryland. Stay in Maryland. Yeah, I don't, I don't, let's do it. So there you go. From the Lorley to the Rebel Cash Drink. Cheers, guys. Oh, wait. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And uh, of course, if you do like what you see from 2290, again, please hit the subscribe button, click that bell in the corner, and let you know every time we got new videos coming out Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on tap. And we do go live every Tuesday night with Glam and Grams. Have on distilleries, breweries, musicians. It's a heck of a good time. Of course, we want to thank our Patreon members. Without your support, we yes. could not be where we are today. And ever growing, we're going to Yeah. yeah. We think 2023 is going to be a good year for all of us involved in that, too. So, in the words mm. of legendary Joe Elliott, until next time, Tom. Oh, and it will be next time. Yes, it will. Cheers, everybody. Happy New Year. Wow.